Opinions matter. Opinions matter. Opinions matter. Opinions matter. Opinions matter. Opinions matter. All right, welcome to another edition of Opinions Matter. I'm your boy, K-Foy. I'm Ron McCagney. Donald Keys. Hey, we want to thank you guys for your continued support. Thank you for joining us because we know you could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with your boys and hang out, right? That's right. All right, we got an action-packed show for you today, right? We'll talk about some hard-hitting topics. But first, as we always do, Fellas, what you been doing since the last episode? Grinding, man. Grinding. G R I N D I N G. Grinding. I was a spelling bee champion. <laughs> uh, okay. Spelling bee champion where? <laughs> kindergarten. Be, it won't be the Terry Elementary. Kindergarten. It won't be the Donald, what you been doing, man? Uh, man, I've been working and then I started out my school workout program. You know, started working out, going to the gym. Okay. And I'm like, what, five, six days strong right okay, now? Okay, okay, right. look at him. You know. Trying to bring sexy back. Yeah, I'm trying to, man. Okay. I'm trying, I'm trying to take off my shirt next year. <laughs> One episode. That's what's up. Nah, yeah, no. Nah, I can't hit the joint like this. Is, this is a family show. Can't hit the joint like this. It's a family show. Look, nah, lay across the table. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, we had a, you know, we had a, a storm uh, scare, yeah. right, right. Yeah. But we only got a few drops of rain, so we, so we're good on that. Then, um, shout out to all my people in North Carolina and South Carolina who went through this Hurricane Florence. Yep. We're praying for y'all and the recovery efforts. We see it was really bad, really yeah. bad. Yeah, so we, we want to make sure to drop it. We dodged the bullet on that one. Definitely, we the definitely, we definitely did. So shout out to you, to all of y'all over there in North Carolina and South Carolina. Our prayers go out to y'all. Yep. Yeah. All right, hey fellas, we're gonna do the grind right now. Yes, right? sir. During the grind segment, we shout out entre local entrepreneurs or entrepreneurs in any across the country. All right. So we're gonna start this one off with yes, Dynamic sir. Dance Team. Kimberly Kearns. All right, is the but she's a founder. She's a coach, yeah, founder, coach. Yeah, founder and coach, ages 8 through 18. Is it just girls? Yeah, girls. Oh, just girls. No, no, no. I got to check right on that. Okay, all my, right. My, my house some guys in there. I'm okay. Not sure, though. So it's a dynamic dance team um, coached by Kimberly Kearns, and they do, um, they're everywhere. They do halftime at Norfolk State basketball game and other events where they're dancing. Um, they went over to, uh, what else you said they were? What is that? Uh, what's the name of the, the theater again? Yeah. Oh, well, we're Dow, um, Dow's and, <laughs> you're gonna mess it up. Downing and Gross. Downing and Gross, there you go. Downing and they, Gross. They, they have programs there that they have in, yeah. Yep, so check them out. All their information will be down below in the description um, of this video. All right, we also want to shout out Through His Eyes Creations. Uh, shout out to Sean Brown Jr. Now, Sean is artistic and he's an artist, and yes. so Through His Eyes, he is creating some great art, okay? Hopefully we can have some some examples of his art for you guys to check out. Yeah, and, he, and they're good. I've seen some t-shirts he made. Okay. Pretty good. Pretty good. And last but not least, Smart One Incorporated. And they're working with special needs individuals and their families. Shout out to Nikki Brown, who is the co-chairperson, along with VG Silva. All right? And all of their information will be down below in the description. Check them out. Go out there, support these people, please, yes. all right? They all right. need your support. They're out there doing their entrepreneurial thing, and we need you guys to go out there and support them, all right? Yes. All right. Exactly. So, fellas, I'm ready. Are y'all ready to get into the first topic? Well, let's get it. Let's, day. Get it. Let's, get it. let's get it. Let's get it. All right. So, our first topic today, we're going to talk about the Cat Williams and Wanda Smith interview that was in um, Atlanta. If you all are not familiar check out this clip right now which shows you a little bit about the video you deserve a special and if you don't you're gonna find out you're not special mm -hmm. because they're gonna let you do your special gerard carmichael but nobody's gonna watch it mm. they're wow. gonna let you be a star Lil rail but you are ugly <laughs> and white people don't believe in ugly stars they think you have to be somebody that women want to sleep with and men want to be but because we black they say oh you don't even deserve that so you get kevin hart lil rail gerard carmichael all in a row hannibal burris just dudes that no woman would talk to in lennox mall something. let alone you making a movie stars why? Because you know ain't nobody gonna sleep with him. You only got Tiffany Haddish. She been doing comedy since she was 16. You can't tell me your favorite Tiffany Haddish joke. 
Why? Because she ain't done a tour yet. Mm -hmm. She ain't done a special. She has not proven the ability to tell jokes back to back for an hour to nobody. And they are already ready to down Monique and up somebody mm. who has showed them Girls Trip. Did you think she wrote Girls Trip goofball? All right, so you saw a little bit of what's going on. It's real awkward in that video. All right, so just to yeah. set it up, Cat Williams came on the um, on the uh, on the, on that show, the Frank and Wanda Morning Show in Atlanta, Georgia. He uh, really bashed Kevin Hart, Tiffany Haddish. Comedian Rail, Jamal Carmichael, mm -hmm. and also uh, Hannibal Burris. Mm -hmm. And um, so, fellas, what do y'all think about that? Um, and what what Cat did in that that what little eighteen minute video that they had? What do you, what do you think, Ron? It went a little too far. Okay. You know, the objective is to bring your people up, not to tear them down. And so many times we see that, you know, people that are successful. They, they sit down, they down other people, but what are they doing to help? So, right. so for me, he just went a little bit. A little, not a little bit, a lot. <laughs> he went a lot of Wait, what do you think, Donald? I think he went over for but I think uh, Kevin Hart came back with a classic response. grown man response. Right. And um, he broke it down. He I mean, did. He broke it down. I mean, it, it, what he said was true. I mean, right. you know, as far as Kevin Hart. Right. But, you know, we, we, we have a big problem, big issue with that in our society as far as our community, I'm sorry. With, with I mean, what? Uh, Crabs in the bucket mentality. Explain that a little bit for those that don't know what that, what that means. <laughs> Explain that a little bit. Um, you got one, you got people on top, or right. they're making it, or they're successful. Uh -huh. Sort of like um, what Tiffany has, she was homeless, um, mm -hmm. you know, she got opportunities, and she's come, she's on the come up right now. She's hot right now. Right. Yeah. So instead of congratulating, or, or you know what I'm saying, giving her kudos, he told his cousin and said, oh, she's doing white men and yeah. to make it and this, that, and the third to get what she's at. And, you know, he's knocking her hustle, but he's giving false information about the young lady. Right. And I mean, like Kevin Hart said, you don't got to like her comedy or like her, you know, but this Respect her grind. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. we, we in, our, in our society or our community, we're, um, we're big um, offenders of that. Right. Yeah. And, and we, we need yeah. to stop that. You think? Right. Yeah. You know? I think, like, you know, in the crab in a barrel thing, it's like if you see crabs in a barrel, you see that they, they yep. always pull each other down. Mm -hmm. yeah. You never see, you know, nobody can get to the top. <laughs> so I think that when he was cracking on Wanda, that was funny. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. That, that was funny. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. <laughs> that was funny. And she like, asked for that. Because you like the petty moments. Yeah, I like the petty moments. Petty. But as far as him downing other comedians uh i think that that's that's wrong yeah i think that the field of comedy is already hard to break into anyway yeah. so with you cat williams and he had his chance he had his chance he was on top for a minute there but but but, but you <laughs> know it up when you don't show up for stuff when you when you blow off like big events like bet he was supposed to host that one year he blew that off and, and a lot of other things and he wasn't he wasn't going for casting calls I guess it got you know got to his head. Kevin Hart said he was doing drugs. drugs. Yeah. You know he also brought up Mike Mike Epps' name in that interview as well. Him and Kevin Hart had a little spat going back and forth there for a while. Um, it's been going on now for about two years or so. Kevin Hart addressed him as well. But yeah, I think Cat Williams took it a little bit too far. Now the comedy with him and Wanda. That was hilarious. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. But you know her, her, her husband came back. Right? That's what they said. They said her husband put a gun out. Allegedly. Allegedly. I already gotta say that. You know? Allegedly, but if he did, that, that's sad though. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it, come on, man. He, she came at him, and then he came back, and then you know it should have been left at that. But, but what? But what Kevin Hart said um, more so is that you have to be responsible for your own actions. You do, yeah. and you can't blame somebody else when you you see somebody else coming up, and now you mad. Yeah. But you had your opportunity to, to be where these people and are, you and it. you blew it. Yeah. Um, and Kevin Hart is look, he's smart, business wise, mm -hmm. and, and what he said, you know, I, I'm taking a hit, so I can make sure other people come to where I am. Well, I'm trying to bring other people up. He's doing and his thing. And he, when you when you mentioned Rel and. Um, what, Jamar, Jamar, yeah, Jamar, Carmichael and, and, those people, and Hannibal Burst. Yeah, yeah, all those people, he helped, you know. And that's and some, that's and the objective. Yeah. And, I, and that, that, I mean, that's the objective when you when you're in a position like that. It's not to just keep it for yourself. You gotta help other people. That's true. And, I, and I admire Kevin Hart for that. You know, 
And he did his thing, man. He did his yeah, thing. Yeah, he did his thing. Yeah. And, and, and I think that, um, I think that you know, the moral of the story is if you make it on top, right? If you make it at any level, make sure you bring somebody up with you. Yeah. You know, and don't think that, oh, you got to be up here all by yourself. And it's fine and dandy for you to get up there, but you won't be up there for your entire life. So make sure that you treat people the right so way. So I there. wonder how um, Monique's feeling right now, because he did make a, a reference to um, Netflix and he did. the money he's getting from. <laughs> Yeah. So I'm but, like, I'm but, like, what's she thinking right now? But she's not thinking good. <laughs> but you also see that what he was saying that it's not based on your sales or right. based on your, your talent. It's based based on your talent and your your, your brand. And, and your if, brand. You have, if you don't yeah. have a brand, yeah. then what he's saying is your brand is what what gets you that twenty thirty million dollar. Yeah. That and true. that's why Dave Chappelle got what sixty million. That's why Chris Rock got forty. And Dio Hughley got a, a Netflix special on. I'm now. not sure how much yeah. he had. Oh, no, it doesn't. Yeah. I, I didn't say yeah, and I know Kevin got forty. Yeah, for his. Tiffany Haddish got her her yeah, thing, and she got, got a, like two, two, two or three more. Hey man, so it's about your brand, and if you're not, and if you are burning bridges and you're not trying to build them, then well, I mean you can't get mad at anybody if they're not really wanting to deal with you. And if you're out there grinding, and and people are hating on you, hey, guess what? Grind until they ask you if you're hiring. All right, <laughs> grind. Yeah, I knew that was coming. <laughs> you knew that was coming, right? <laughs> you knew that was coming. Exactly, exactly. But you're right. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's right. But you're right, though, man. Yeah. I mean, that, I mean, you get, you just gotta, you gotta take, take ownership in, in you, your own. You, you're uh, gonna have criticism. Yeah, you're you, gonna have it. You're gonna have it. It's gonna come with. It's part of the game. But also, you gotta. There's a, there's a way to handle it. You know. There is. Now, like sometimes Monique, you gotta handle like, Ke like Kevin Hart handled. Yeah. Like yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Monique yeah. handled it. Get on your way. In a certain way, yeah. Oh no, I don't even want to talk about her no more. But, but Kevin Williams didn't handle it. He didn't handle it. The and, correct way. Eddie, he Eddie lied. So. Yeah, 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 so. so it's trash. But hey, <laughs> if, you, if you have not seen uh, what Kevin Hart said, check out a clip right now. My frustration with Cat Williams comes from you keep pointing at Hollywood. Hollywood this, the white man, this, this, and this. When do you take responsibility for your actions? You had the shot. Cat was in that position at one you point. You were the guy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You were set up to be the star. You didn't show up to work. You fucked off promo shoots. You fucked off your promo fucking uh, trips that they had set up for you. You became a risk to the studios, which is why the studios stopped fucking with you. Why was he a risk? He chose drugs. Oh, okay. Take responsibility for what you chose and say, you know what? I got to fix me and I'm going to come back and I'm going to stand up for comedy. Mm -hmm. So when you say Tiffany Haddish doesn't deserve or isn't really a comedian, and these other women have worked hard, which they have. Mm -hmm. Shouts out to Melanie Cam Camacho. Shouts out to Lou Nell. Mm -hmm. Shouts out to Leslie Jones, who are all underneath the umbrella of Cat Williams. Cat Williams, have you ever used your platform to fucking bring the people that were under you up? Mm. You haven't. So because you haven't, don't shit on those that now are. I've used my platform, and I've brought my guys and girls up. Mm -hmm. The brand of Kevin Hart is a brand that's expanded so fucking far, whether you like me or not, my presence of comedy will forever be felt because mm. I'm a fucking boss. Mm. I sit on the top of it, and the opportunities that I'm giving are the ones that I'm creating. Mm. So take responsibility for what you did. You fuck you. Nobody else did. You don't hear...